Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Hey, Selmers. Hey, May. Hey, sup, Selmers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. Got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not migraine. And those things make me have to pee. <laughs> it's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Yeah, ibuprofen has caffeine in it because that's a really great way to get your things to everything to flow better and stop uh, uh, being inflamed. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. I like Selmers. I just want to see if my other neighbors are out down here. Molecop! Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't ask a lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen. Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. Hey. Spit it out already! Be careful. Just be careful. Well, jeez, until now I never considered that. Hey. Okay, fine, thanks, bye. <laughs> yeah, she probably got about a dozen uh, missing persons calls tonight, uh, last night, this morning. So that was probably really fun. You're gonna go dim a dab to bed. Are you dim allowed to, to do that? What's that? Sorry. Just wanna see if anybody's out here. There shouldn't be anyone out here, but I just wanna see anyway. Wonder if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like deluded, but it'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask, but I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like I'm proud of us all for having good ass lives. A stupid, stupid good town. Ah, fight gods! Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Break the Dimalaw Dims, damn it. God fight, God fight, God fight. Boing, 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 boing. Zeus versus Tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> uh, Zeus never stood a chance. I like that Mall Cop is gone now. Let's see where what everyone else is up to. Let's see, is Mr. Rhyming person down here? Yes, you are. Horm, sweet horm. When winter cut, when winter come, and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Oh, please go away. Uh, never change, never change. Old lady's still not here. She hasn't been here in a while. Hey, you guys are still exist. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. <laughs> okay, so these guys aren't dead, so that's cool. You know who the real the real casualty in all this was? Possibilities. Still can't believe it closed down.
Yeah, so here's Casey. Casey is dead. I wish we could give the family closure. Whee! Let's go to church. You know what I really want to see? I really want to see Bruce here with his family, being like, hey, I reconnected with them. And not be like, hey, I disconnected with my limbs at the bottom of a, a mine shaft. Take me to church. I think I heard this song like once. Can we see Grandpa Ghost or whomever it is? No? Okay. Who was that ghost? I, I never really got that. Who was that ghost? Was that Grandpa? Grandpa Ghost was a cultist! Okay, so... Church Lady isn't here, so maybe she's by where Bruce's spot is. Yeah, that's right, you jump into doors. He looks a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. <laughs> yep, here she is. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the count, uh, council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. Uh, for those who weren't in previous streams, uh, so she's, you know, she runs the church. She's like the pastor at the church. And she wanted to turn the church space into homeless shelter. And the town was like, nah, -uh. The Those four idiots from before were like, nah, we don't want all those dirty homeless bums in our town. So they voted on it, and she lost. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things. But... You tried. All we can do. And God will show up. When the time is right. Bruce is my friend. Mine too. Bruce is my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. <laughs> this is where Greg's cousin was practicing with the crossbow that we saw. <clears throat> and nobody over here. This is a very, very interesting game, I have to say. I like this epilogue here, it's just kind of letting us wind down slowly after all the craziness. But man, this... this game... Very poignant, good sense of humor, amazing music. I'm very happy that I played it. See if there's anyone up here to talk to. You. Hey, you okay? Hey. I heard you were like in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? I fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Uh, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. <laughs> I like that. All the people are like, yeah, let's kill people to save the town. She just calls a death cult of conservative uncles. Beautiful. Alright, you don't have to tell me. So you're really okay? Yeah, it's just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Aw, I'm super tough. It's not inaccurate. Uh, nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh, good. That's good. I'm glad you're not calling me a murderer anymore. 
I need I need to get to the cat. There we go. Cat! Won't be able to climb this soon. Once it gets icy. Enjoy while the weather lasts, May. Yeah, quiet. Alright, I wanted to go in there. I need to see if my babies are okay. I need to see if my babies took the morning train or not. Wait, no, these are my babies. They're out. Look, look at them. Look at them out on the ledge. Aww. My babies take the morning. Look at these guys, they're all over the place now. What's gonna happen to all this? I think it's just gonna. <laughs> Excuse me, sit here. Until someone gets around to throwing it all out? I should, like, steal the good stuff. <laughs> See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. <laughs> Pretty decorate the living room. My baby takes the morning train. What? When did this get here? What is this? Why can't I access it? Wait, is there another one down here? No. Wait, I can't open the door, but it's a door here. Why would you put a door there if I can't open it? That's rude. I want to open the door. I said Nightbot to do that every hour, but I feel like it's been doing it a lot more frequently. Nightbot knows something that we don't. <gasps> it's Janitor God! Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix it. Whatever needs done. Oh. Okay, so what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember? No, I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. I feel like I should have woken up today and like have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, big things don't teach you anything. They make you something, but they make you something. And sometimes, you gotta wait a while and see what comes of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. <laughs> see you around. Not if I see you first, May. <laughs> uh, when did I give you my name? Wait, how do you know my name? Yep, that's definitely God. So that's cool. Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought, I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Yep, janitor is definitely God. There's no actual doubt in my mind that the janitor is, is God. So I'm gonna play it. Party time? How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store, how do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. You can try. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. Are we still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. Oh my god, this is too real. Hey, let's try to have some time together with friends. Well, I'm off this day. I'm off different day. I'm off a third different day. <laughs> Can we all put in requests? Man. It's like, yeah. I would love to spend time with you. 
<laughs> What's the schedule? I love I love God Janitor though. He's my one of my favorite characters. Hey you. Well, fall share is ending. Sure looks that way. I've uh never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. I like the cold. I, I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand the cold in my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. But then you gotta go get a coffee or hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> I'm Canada. I have to apologize. Man. Mm. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. Somewhere, John is apologizing for some reason. See you later, dude. Angus? Hello? Well, I guess Angus is, is at the Snalkin. I still want to watch Swamp Husband! This isn't fair. I'm sorry, Bagel. <gasps> Holy crap! Uh, uh, a taco place! This is the best thing that's happened in this town since... <laughs> they got rid of all the snakes in the diner! The owners were religious! And they called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave the next day after he did, uh, after he... The next day, after he died, they just set traps. Oh my god. They called in a holiness preacher, went in, yelled at the snakes, probably got bitten to death. Nobody knows where they came from, or why they moved in, but they're long gone now. God, life moves on, huh? Taco Buck is replacing Pasta Billy. Oh my god, they deliver! <gasps> I'm gonna eat the crap out of some tacos. Is this Lucagen? Is this Lucagen? <laughs> Just saying. Oh, hey, you. So, you're a taco dude now. You was working part-time in the, uh, pickaxe. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. Taco Tuesday is booyah! But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not, it's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's Earth who doesn't love tacos. Fact. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. What is that? Taco artisans. Delivery drivers, all shifts, $8 per hour. Taco buck. D dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all the general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out the all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid, I'm working. Get out of here, kid, you're bothering me. Hey, where's your bud? Uh oh. Where, where's your friend? Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you a smelter's fan? 
Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Go smelters! Go smelters! Go smelters! Uh oh. I have a feeling his buddy here that he used to yell at smelters is dead at the bottom of mine shaft somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not my fault. Some put a wall in the way. Food donkey. Wait, we can go into the food donkey? I didn't know we could go back into the food donkey. Oh my gosh, I'm just running on my own. My babies! Oh my gosh, these are all my rats? My rat babies! Well, not so little anymore. You've made it! You've broken free! It's a miracle! Oh my god, I've made rats overrun the town. I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. Oh my gosh. I've actually unleashed a plague of rats upon the city. That's amazing though. That's absolutely amazing. Okay, so we could just sit here with our rats, having a good time. Yeah, look at them, they're just all over the place. And <laughs> they call him a holy man and the rats bite him to death. I wanna go past. You know, there's the ghost that went through that. I guess that's why they were like, you know, they, when we were in the mine they said, yeah, that one guy Ed or whoever it was was like uh, was able to to walk through walls and stuff, and I guess that's how the ghost people were able to do that. That makes sense. Why can't why can't I walk through walls? I don't know. Yeah, look, the rats are over there. I love this. My babies, my babies, go away, cat! Don't kill my babies. Okay. Angus isn't here. Well, look, he's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. It just seems like Melvin. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna get out of here? Do bad practice? Yeah, why not? One more time. God, this door just does not like to open. I bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get keys to the back door? And Greg got one and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs. Birthdays out. Since they seem to like up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two, uh, those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. <laughs> That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Do you not think the last or something? No. Greg's a nice person. Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible. And has like zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg like saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets. Who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you thought this out. Before you came back, they're the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. <laughs> so, like, how are you? <sighs> I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? 
Uh, not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. Or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist, or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Yep. I don't know, I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about it on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. <laughs> Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, since we hung out with B, we're getting we're getting her dialogue stuff. The world is extremely bad. Yep. Yes it is. Weird question. How do you like get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You just, you don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight. Following me. I can't not give a darn. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home, stuff at the Chamber of Commerce, I'm doing free study courses online. See, that was definitely not an hour night thought. And I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. Right there? That's me. Right there. To each according to their ability. Uh... Each come out Well, on the bright side, you've got me. <laughs> yeah, we can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. We fixed that furnace. I fixed the furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. Ugh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. Is pretty weird. <laughs> Just got some duct tape. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're just like ghosts in some old mansion killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, have you any new, uh, rat problems at the shop? <laughs> uh, yeah, how did you know? <laughs> so this is, so this is dialogue that we get because we unleashed a scourge of rats upon the town. I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. <laughs> well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just going to be more of them. Hope Springs. Rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know a thing about- What? <laughs> we should do like a road trip. To where? Out west gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And you can see like the world's largest pierogi. Or like a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because your issue 
Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, LOL! You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. Well, it's about darn time. God damn this door! I think God already has. There they are. You guys got here just in time for us to finish talking about things that happened in the game. Hey guys. Sup nerds? It is you who are the nerds. What? Jeez, we've never been so insulted. Take it right back, dork. Fat chance. Hey Greg, so I didn't really know Casey. Yeah, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah, thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? No, I mean, tell them what? Uh, okay, yeah. Huh, good point. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Pizza party? Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? Heck yeah, pizza party. I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. <laughs> when I was in a coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and stuff? Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha, <laughs> finally you admit it, you owe me five bucks! Bet's a bet. <laughs> no, it was like the town was abandoned, like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some garbage. I went to where my house used to be, and when I was there I felt completely hopeless. But now, I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on, and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run, you never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, you'll be tired, there'll be time enough for counting when the deal is done. I had it for a second, then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza! Yeah, good enough. So, there we go. Oh man, that's, that was sun. Well, that was Night in the Woods. Man. And we didn't even do Greg's side of the, like, the, the Greg events, except for the first one. Man. That was some game. That was some video game. I'm so happy that I finally got around to playing it, because, yo. All of the feels. And it went completely off the rails there, but it's just, I don't know. Like, this is like one of the best indie games I've ever played. I highly recommend it for the people out there watching, even though you just watched me play it. Now the question is, I don't think I'm gonna start another run tonight. But do I play through the Greg side of things? I kind of want to. I don't know if I necessarily want to like complete the game like in terms of uh, achievements, but I would like to. I would like to see the Greg the Greg story things because it seems like it was fun. We were doing crimes. Very cool. Very cool, though. Also, I'm really happy I bought this soundtrack. <laughs> it was like the last day of the sale or something. Yeah, crimes! Well, the first thing we did was breaking and entering into the food donkey. I feel like Greg's side of things wouldn't be as real as uh, 
the B side of things, where we had to, like, work out our personal problems together. I don't know. I feel like the Greg stuff would be, like, Eco the cat, wow. The Greg stuff would be, like, about his relationship with, with Angus, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Greg is an enigma. <laughs> Hoi! <laughs> Thanks for saying goodbye to me, Sharkle. At the end of everything, rip Casey. I wish that we could have done something to give Casey's parents some sort of, uh... Uh... Closure. Alas. But that's that. What do we do? <laughs> Where do we go from here? Um... Do I want to just end off the stream?